ever feel like, you know, you're bombarded with spiritual advice? Like every corner you turn, there's another guru with a new book, another workshop promising enlightenment. It's a lot, right? It is. So today we are diving deep into a text that claims to have found, get this, the most perfect way towards spiritual perfection. Very ambitious. Right. But here's the kicker. It throws out the rule book on like all the traditional spiritual practices. No mantras, no complex rituals. It's a completely different approach. Intriguing. Before we get into that, though, can you give us a little background on mystical experiences? Yeah. Just so everyone's on the same page. Totally. We're talking about those moments where you feel like a deep connection to something bigger than yourself, a sense of peace, maybe even a glimpse of the divine. You ever felt that? Absolutely. These experiences can be triggered by things like meditation or prayer or even just being in nature. Right. right exactly. So those moments, those are like the building blocks. But this text we're looking at, it takes a radical approach to achieving them. It's all about complete surrender to divine guidance. And I mean, like, really letting go. Yeah, it's not just about trusting your gut. It's about completely surrendering control to a power we can't even grasp. It's like, imagine ditching the self-help books, the meditation apps, the whole shebang, and just surrendering to this higher power. That is wild. So all those tools and techniques so many people rely on, they're distractions on this path. I can already hear our listeners who are all about practical steps saying, hold on a minute. Right. It seems counterintuitive. But the text says that when you reach that state of surrender, guidance comes naturally in every single moment. Like think of it like the wind constantly shifting. OK, I see what you mean. So instead of planning your route meticulously, you're learning to sail by feel trusting your gut and the wind, even though you don't know where you'll end up. That's both exciting and kind of scary, right? 100%. And it gets even more interesting because this text says that once you fully surrender every experience, good or bad, joyful or painful, it's all part of the divine plan. And you learn to find joy in all of it. Okay, now that is a tough one. Especially for those of us who are all about goals, about achieving things. How can you find joy in setbacks, in challenges? Like, what if, I don't know, what if you get passed over for a promotion? Right. It seems impossible. Mm -hmm. But remember that initial surrender. When you accept the divine will in every moment, you go beyond that duality of good and bad. So you wouldn't focus on the disappointment of not getting the promotion. Instead, you might ask, what can I learn from this? What new possibilities are opening up because of this? You trust that even this perceived setback is leading you somewhere amazing. And that connects to the whole idea of certainty and peace, doesn't it? Like when you have that trust in something larger than yourself, you find this deep inner peace no matter what craziness is happening around you. Exactly. It's about tapping into that well of peace that exists beyond the chaos of daily life. And think about our listeners, many of them struggling with information overload. This path, it's like a direct line to clarity and purpose. Imagine the relief. So let's recap. This radical path to spiritual perfection is about radical trust. Trusting a power beyond our understanding, trusting that guidance will come, trusting that every experience, good or bad, is leading us exactly where we need to be. What a paradox. It really is. And it makes you wonder, in a world obsessed with control, with having all the answers, could surrendering be the ultimate path to clarity and purpose? Now that is a question worth pondering. And listeners, we want to know, what are your thoughts on this perfect way? Hit us up on social media and tell us, does this resonate with you or do you have other ways of navigating your own spiritual journey? Until next time, keep diving deep.